chakras in the body. Now, first she creates these chakras in the head, we call them the pithas of the chakras. And then she comes down and creates these chakras which are uh, in the body of the Virata. Now, once this has happened, then she creates human beings, but not directly. Through the evolutionary process, she goes through and that's how the evolution starts. And then it starts developing from the minute, small little microscopic organisms in the water and then it starts evolving. So when she creates water and she creates all the universes, she chooses this Mother Earth as the best place to play her evolutionary process. And there she makes this little microscopic thing. Of course I've written all about it and when my book will be released you can see that how first hydrogen, carbon, and uh, oxygen and all of these things they mix up and how nitrogen comes into play and how a living process starts. All this I have done it in my another book that I am going to write now. I mean I have mostly finished but there are some more chakras are to be dealt with. Now with this happening, you see one thing is there that whatever I write now people won't doubt. They will know it's a scientific fact and that's what whatever I say is a fact. Now, to believe in the car, in the even uh, a mother, Adi Shakti was impossible. Especially, you'll be amazed that Christian religion somehow or other avoided the mentioning of the mother. Then the Islam, that also avoided the mentioning of the mother. It's completely negation towards the mother. But only Indian philosophy had the mother and the Indians are actually Shakti worshippers. So this is how it was kept up and brought to this uh, position now that people have got, people have got full idea as to mother principle that has worked out of it. On this mother principle in India people are very sure that it's the mother who does everything. And thus we have in India many, uh, we should say, uh, uh, many swambhus means things that are created of the Mother Earth. 